if you really want to become successful in life, you really have to feel that success is inevitable. Just now, a few minutes back, I was talking to one of my students and she was feeling a little bit anxious and she told me that, Meeta, I just want to talk, talk to you for five minutes and she shared about her insecurities. She said that, Meeta, today after so many days, I felt that there are many people who think that art cannot survive in India because many people are living out of their savings and they are just trying to save money. And in this time, do you think that people will try to invest in art? Do you think that art will be a priority for them for investment? She was feeling insecure and I can understand the situation. Many of you might be feeling insecure related to that. Many of you are trying to become professional artists. You must be feeling that what will happen if people say no on your face? What will happen if people, they don't invest in your online courses and they say no? If you ask them to learn from you, what will happen? Maybe you are also feeling exactly the same, just like my student. And therefore, I felt that why not share the same talk which I told her with you all. So here I am and I wanted to tell you, in case you are a professional artist, this video will certainly help you to become more positive and more focused. So this video is about achieving success. So when I was a small girl and I remember my days, I always used to ask my mom, mom, where is this? I used to ask my mom, mom, mom where you have kept it? Mom used to give me some directions. Okay, it is you search in that particular drawer or that particular Almera and you will be able to find it without giving a lot of, uh, you know, time and lot of uh, you, um, attention to her instructions. I used to quickly go inside, quickly search, quickly come back to my mom and say, mom, I'm not able to find it. Can you please find it for me? Then after a lot of those type of things, my mom irritated and just to get rid of me, she used to come and she used to find it and she used to give it for me. After many days, when I was a little grown up, she told me once one day that Meeta, she used to call me Rimli. So Rimli, try to find your stuff for yourself. Don't depend upon me. When I said that it is there, so go and check it out nicely and find out till you get it. Try to do your stuff by yourself. And that day I felt a little bit bad <laughs> because my mom said no. She gave a very good lesson to me. She asked me to find your stuff by yourself without giving up and do it seriously. Now when I remember those days, I can easily feel that you have to be like if you really want to become successful in life you really have to feel that success is inevitable you cannot keep on thinking about whether you will achieve success or you will not achieve success you have to think that it has to be inevitable it is there all you have to do it to find out a way to reach that place that is what i told my student also first of all Success is inevitable and all you have to do is to find a way to achieve the success. The second point which I told her to my student is you cannot achieve success without failure. You cannot. It is impossible. It is not my belief. It is everyone. You cannot give any person's name who have achieved tremendous amount of success without going through failure. Okay, it is something like this. So let's consider a jar. So let's say this is a jar. Okay, and you know that there is a diamond inside, but you don't know where is the diamond. So this diamond is there, right? Okay, but it is having a lot of chickpeas. You can take example of peanuts. So all you have to do is to understand that the diamond is here. Okay, and you have to take, so see there is no diamond. So you can keep it, okay? Again, take no diamond, keep it. Again, take no diamond, keep it. Do it, okay? No diamond, keep it. Again, take, see, I got the diamond. So your success is also like this. 
the more you will cry on your failure it is just a waste of time it is a stupidity right you have to imagine you cannot imagine that your life will be successful without any failure okay it is impossible so don't even think about that do it if you achieve success fine good not achieve success keep it if you want to get only success and do not want to get the failure then just get out of it and go and sleep peacefully and you will not find peace there also another example which i gave it to her is uh, my one of my favorite actor is uh, amir khan he's a bollywood actor let's say you are watching a movie of amir khan okay any movie you know that he is the hero of the movie right your mind your whole whole thing knows that finally he will achieve the success whatever he does right because he is the hero so in the first 10 minutes he if he achieves success will you feel good no right and if he is going through lot of hard work lot of hardship lot of hardship inside your mind you will feel okay anyways he is the hero so finally the movie will end when he will achieve success so your mind will be peaceful right okay let's see how he does it how the movie ends how he comes out of the problem how what he does so that is about the movie so consider yourself as the hero or the heroine so consider yourself like that given a situation now how to get out of it so you do that right you consider yourself as a hero or a heroine and you will believe that finally you will achieve the success it is inevitable right so do the hard work if you get the result good if you don't get the result do more hard work it should be something like that do the hard work forget 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 getting results forget see getting results forget do the hard work forget keep on doing it it is impossible that you will not get the results right many people they think that oh wow meeta she is doing this she got 500000 us dollars in one year and this and that she has written a book or that book realistic watercolor english my three other books are coming in the market she is writing a book she has got so many students she has got all these things fabulous office nobody asked me about what i did 2017 that time also when the book was about to come in the market also 2018 also when i used to sit in the night 2 o'clock 2:30 my husband used to come meeta sleep meeta sleep sleep take rest my father used to tell me meeta he also calls me rimli so meeta go and sleep i used to work hard 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 harder harder hard when i came for the first time on internet on facebook i had tremendous amount of fear about how people will judge me what people will think and all that thing my mentor told me come and do it again and again and again and again and you can go and check on my 2019 videos how scared i used to look i slowly came out of the fear it was not like a magic i also teach my students how to come out of the fear but nothing is magic i just speed up their process by pushing hard by motivating but the finally they have to do it right so nothing is fast nothing is quick another thing is that if you want to achieve the success you have to do the hard work and in the right direction and consistently and with lot of positivism you cannot do hard work with half hearted mind by saying that oh will i achieve success if that question is will i achieve success you will never achieve success right that is what you are feeding your subconscious mind will i won't i your subconscious mind cannot work like that okay you have to tell yourself that if i do hard work consistently without giving up i will achieve my goal and that is it very simple success is not a very complicated thing it is very simple the only thing is that difficult okay it is not easy but finally understand that easy and difficult is a attitude 
see computers you know whether it is a rocket launching type of a job given to a computer or anything else the computer or whatever like uh, you know super computer whatever it is they don't judge whether it is a easy formula or a difficult formula it is just some formulas will take one hour to for fix some will take two three days to complete okay those formulas are quite heavy so the uh, computer is not judging whether the formula is easy or difficult it is something time consuming or complex right exactly like that don't categorize things as easy difficult categorize it as time consuming complex something like that so you think like that okay getting people to purchase my painting i don't know how to do it so i need to learn how to do it if i don't know how to do it i need to learn how to do it and if you don't want to go for a mentor go for youtube videos there are so many youtube videos on sales go and learn that now if you think that you don't know something you have got two options either to be a cry baby it is not happening it is not happening that is a stupidity the second is go and learn it after learning go and practice you will not get it initially and don't give up and you will get it finally simple isn't it it is not a complex thing it is a simple thing you just have to do it now another thing which i told my student is about the way in which human beings behave when something happens the first thing is panic if something bad happens first thing is panic second is reaction and third is adoption okay so first suppose there is a bomb blast so first people will panic then they will feel angry and they will revolt they will take out some sort of you know rally or something so that is reaction there can be different ways of reacting to situations and the third is they will adopt then they will understand okay same goes true for covid covid is a situation all the artists were not prepared for that situation it happened all of a sudden i was prepared because i was anyways working from home i was anyways working location independent manner i anyways had students from all over the world so i was prepared for that other people other artists they face difficulty because they were not prepared for it so that was panic <laughs> the different people they purchased toilet paper rolls isn't it okay so that was panic second is reaction okay they will try to save money they will try to not spend money so that is reaction now you have to know that covid is not going anywhere for another few many months you cannot keep on saving 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 you have to find out how to earn because that savings will vanish right okay so if you want to earn you need to have skills so if you really want to become a professional artist you need to develop your skills you have to develop two skills number one your artistic skills and entrepreneurship skills now you have to find out how you you have to develop now will you let the entire year go 2020 and 2021 maybe will you will you let it go just considering that nothing is possible or you will learn and you will do the hard work and you will make things easy right nothing was easy for the first time when you started riding a bicycle it was not easy for the first time you fell down several times okay even a olympic champion who rides bicycle okay in a race they also must have uh, fell down when they started to ride it for the first time so that is what i told my student and that is what i tell you many times you will not see me telling you all these things if i am not there not a problem okay there are several several youtube videos are there find out how to open your mind how to talk positive to yourself how to do sales all these things and if suppose you are a very good artist and you can teach something very nicely and if a person is saying that oh your course is so expensive so you tell that expensive as compared to what expensive as compared to not learning it not doing it 
not feeling the joy, the happiness when my students achieve success, when my students earn a lot of money, when my students paint fabulously, isn't that precious? Isn't that priceless? So compared to what you are telling that the course is more costly and always remain positive, always talk positive. And this message is specifically for all the people who are trying something and not achieving success and feeling anxious. Remember that success is inevitable. If you do not give up, if you do consistent hard work in the right direction. Take care and bye.